you talked a little bit ago about how the bone broth would have aided in lining Paco's gut. Can you go into more detail about that? Yes. So what I love about bone broth is two parts. One, the bone broth itself, and two, the benefits that happen from a healed gut. So when you consume bone broth, human being or dog, um, it's the only beverage or food that physically goes into your gut and creates almost like a like a stocking or a lining um, mm. to any little holes caused from bad digestion. And everyone has bad digestion to an extent, some obviously worse than others. So bone broth literally creates a lining for food to seamlessly pass through so that no food seeps out. And that's when red blood cells go to fight these invaders, AKA the food, and it makes you sick and inflamed and wow. leads to chronic inflammation, which leads to chronic illness. So bone broth lines the gut and while lining your gut, literally directly pumps natural occurring collagen into the places you need it via your gut. And it's the most um, bioavailable way for your body to receive bone broth in a liquid, hot, directly into your gut. And what happens when you have um, a healed gut or a gut that's being repaired from bone broth is it's exponential for the joints, which is obviously great for dogs. Um, it's great for the hair. Everyone wants our dog's hair nice, skin and nails. But it's, I think most importantly, really great for natural immunity. Um, most of our immunity is in our gut. And believe it or not, stress and anxiety also comes from the gut. So all these benefits <laughs> you get bless you from having bone broth, it really just aids in overall wellness, physically, mentally, <laughs> actually emotionally as well. Yep. Um, so to me, the sky's the limit for bone broth. I, I truly think it's going to be drank like tea and coffee someday soon. Yeah, makes sense. And so when you talk about the holes in the gut, is that kind of what we colloquially colloquially know as leaky gut? Yes, exactly. Leaky gut. And, you know, some people aren't full tilt leaky gut, but they still will have tiny holes caused from bad, bad digestion. We're working with a dog trainer right now who also specializes in the gut and healing the gut and, you know, comes from the perspective that gut issues can cause a lot of behavioral issues that pet parents are experience. And we're doing like we're kind of starting this whole gut protocol and stuff because we've realized go, looking back, hindsight's always twenty twenty. I think our dogs always had gut issues, you know, yeah. especially Banks licking himself all the time. I mean, right now, I don't know where he is, but he's probably somewhere licking himself. <laughs> yeah. And so what I've learned is like, we feed the highest quality stuff on the market, but that's not always enough. It's not always enough to just switch to the highest quality stuff because that is like good fuel, but it does nothing to repair the damage that's been done from, you know, highly processed food, stress, whatever's the cause of that leaky gut. It's true. So bone broth is such a good additive to your dog's diet. They love it. You could even put it in the food. You could put it out as a treat. Um, but but I think it's huge. Like I had no idea. Like Paco's journey was really eye-opening to me to see how all, all this chronic inflammation led him to that very moment where doctors were trying to have me put him down on the false pretenses of cancer. It was crazy. Yep. And had you not been a, a relatively informed pet parent, you would have taken the advice of your vet, you know, and not totally. tried other stuff. And then to make matters worse, you know, the hospital who was put out separate from the people who said that couldn't even tell me what went wrong. I had to contact the the company who whose food he was on. It was like a raw diet. Um, for a while and they actually did their due diligence which like that's how I learned what happened and and what they said actually made a lot of sense and was rational and they had data points from his history yeah yeah that's incredible <laughs>